yeah, I have shown this on my channel before. Uh, this is the final kit of Mamono Hanta Yoko, or as she is known in the West, Devil Hunter Yoko. This is a DVD I have. This was put out by AD Vision. I think this is one of their their very very first few um, uh, uh, titles that AD Vision had ever released. So um, pretty cool show. It's it kind of fits into that um, you know the, the magical girl transformation uh, you know beating up the bad guys, but it this is pretty. Um, you know, pretty intense. The first episode kind of starts out like almost like a soft core porn a little bit, um, but uh, it kind of turns into um, this girl slashing uh, demons with swords. And um, hey, who doesn't like chicks with swords, right? There were also some uh, video games. Um, I have two here. For the PC Engine, these are like just text adventure games. Haven't really delved too far into these games yet. And um, there's a side scrolling action platformer um, for the Mega Drive. And this is um, all these games are by Masaya. I really like, or actually it's pronounced Masaya. Uh, I really, really like that game company. Um, kind of really miss it, but that was back in the, the boom days, and um, really, really enjoyed their games from the 16-bit era. Um, so, um, I actually, I, I had started, I had this one guy help me out, I paid him to um, build a, a Messiah fan site on my website, you can check that out, it's not complete at all, I've just kind of lost interest in, in uh, maintaining that. But anyhow, this is a really swanky little kit, and I've never built a vinyl kit before, so this will be a new experience for me. Okay, uh, I bought this at Kogetsudo, my local hobby uh, my local hobby shop. This is just a base, and here are the instructions. And it looks like it comes with a resin sword. So the sword is definitely not vinyl, it is resin. Let me pull that off here, yank it off. So, instructions. Gotta paint her up and put her together. So, um, I would imagine, you know, uh, painting them in pieces and then putting them together, I suppose. I'm gonna have to learn how to do this. Uh, I want to get out of my comfort mode and explore new things. And one of these is going to be, you know, uh, one way to do that is to do a vinyl kit. So, yeah, so here's her uh, lovely girl parts. And she has a bent knee, kind of, you know, kind of posed like that, I suppose. So, here's her, her beautiful dress. Isn't that nice? Very, very nice. A bit busty for a 16-year-old girl, but, you know, heck, that's, uh, that's the way anime is, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. And here are her hair parts. This is going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to doing her hair. Not so much the face. Faces kind of make me nervous. This is her her head. You know, I have to cut all this stuff off here, soak it in hot water, and uh, cut away with my little tummy I saw. Here's her leg. Her, I'm sorry, one of her, her feet. Her other foot. Now you can, you can do her hair like this, or you can use her hair. She has these uh, resin hair thingies here. So, you know, take your pick, I suppose. Um, these are her bangs. Her, her fingers here. That, that's, that's pretty odd. I have to be careful when I cut that out. 
So um, yeah, here's here's her hand minus the finger. So I'll have to kind of be be very very careful. So she's meant to grasp her sword, obviously. And uh, more hair. Here's her other hand. So now, yeah, this I think this is like the magic, the source of her magic power. She's got like this really, uh, really um, wicked looking ring here, and it just kind of, you know, braces around her, her hand like that. Kind of, uh, kind of bizarre. And here's her face. Oh my. Yeah, I've never done anything this the scale before. I've picked up figures as such, but I've never had to really, really do a good job with the eyes. And this is what I'm really nervous about. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. Now, I will need to use a mold release agent, so I have this. This is the Fine Molds Mold Release Cleaner. Just spray it on, wait 30 seconds, and then rinse it off. So I guess I can get started doing that first. Um, the only other time I've used this is on the Starship Enterprise build that I've also been um, slowly putting together. So I guess I can get started with this first. All right, let's get started here. So of course this is the easiest step. There's a little bit of miscoloration on her leg, but other than that, this, you know, yeah, there's a little bit of darker color here. Other than that, though, this is really, really nice. I was really lucky to. To get this off of Yaj, or you know, as I call it, um, Yahoo Auctions Japan, uh, for a really decent price, actually. So I had somebody else try to bid on this, but he gave up. So I have not been as lucky at finding some other uh, neat PC Engine type game character kits, like, um, um, for example. Um, uh, Record of Loras War, or um, Galaxy for All I you know. I, I would really like to get some of those type kits, but oh well. And uh, this, oh, I poked a hole through here. There we go. There's a bit of flash on here, but it's not so bad, really. So. Oh yeah, no scrubbing required, it's just you spray this on and you're good to go after 30 seconds. So you don't you don't have to really scrub it or anything. Pretty nice. I'm not gonna bother with these. I'm just gonna use the resin parts instead. This looks like it's gonna be a bit of work to try to cut these out and glue them together. So I'm not gonna bother with those. Okay, they say to soak the parts in hot water. Yeah, it's pretty warm water. So when it is cold, it's it's pretty stiff, right? But when it's warm, it's very very soft. So that makes it easier to cut the pieces. Now the instructions tell you where to cut. Like uh, you'll see, it, it's all grayed out where you're supposed to cut. So, like, uh, for example, you got the bangs here. I'm supposed to cut out this part here, the back part of her head here. So let's uh, let's give this a try. I've never 
This is my, my first time using. I got this uh, Tamiya handsaw specifically for this job. So maybe I need to cut down into it first. Hmm. Maybe try cutting at an angle. There we go. Oh, you know what? I should use something uh, I recently got as a dust base. And pull this out. And it's a dust catcher. So I'll work over this and let all the crap fall into this instead of getting everywhere. Off fairly easily enough, I suppose. Uh, let me. I think I'm gonna cut away from the very edge first, just to be on the safe side, you know? I've never done this before. I wouldn't want to accidentally gouge into the important part. So in Japan, they, they call these safubi, or uh, I'm sorry, sofubi, which is short for soft vinyl, because um, they don't like the letter V, <laughs> so they it's always B or whatever, so soft vinyl, sofu, softo biniru, is where that comes from. So yeah, I just have to cut this part out, I, I imagine. I don't know, it just says to cut up from here, so... Uh, but it's not too hard when it's, when it's warm. slicing into this instead. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm ruining it. <laughs> there. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking at this leg here. Um, when it's warm, the exacto knife just goes straight through it. So the saw is maybe good for just cutting into major areas, but um, when you get up close, the X-Acto knife is just fantastic. It just slices straight through here. And it's making short work of this, definitely. So this is the best way, I think, to remove the excess. Wouldn't you think? That's pretty great. Nice. Well, I'm certainly learning as I go along here. Um, I'm not going to use this hacksaw thing at all. Just look at this. The exacto knife works so much nicer. And it's just important to just keep dip, dipping it back in the, the warm water. Like, this is actually getting a little bit tough again. So you have to be careful you don't cut yourself. But there, much nicer, much easier, much more precise too. Working with an exacto knife than with a saw. So okay, yeah, learning new things.
ねこの歌<笑> There we go. What? It's game music. Look at this, I'm making a girl. Isn't that cool? Wow! Oh, careful, don't stab yourself, alright? Alright. Got a little bit of excess, but that's not bad. Cool. My head's done. Who are you for? Well, it's because if I get it warm, then it's real easy to to cut. Because if it's not warm, then it, it's kind of hard and it doesn't cut very easily. Okay. Let's see. Isn't that nice? You want to try? No. <laughs> you don't want to try. It's a knife. You gotta be careful with knives, little girl. Right? Yeah. yeah. Gotta be careful. I stabbed myself last time. I worked on this. Don't want to stab myself again. It doesn't feel good. Right? Yeah. Short work with the exacto knife. Very short work. Nice, nice, nice. Yay. Okay, so one of the difficult parts is uh, it's supposed to have these lined up with the sides of her head, and uh, just gotta. Make sure that these little contours conform. I should probably file these these pieces down a bit. So I don't want to go crazy with the the knife, lest I, I do something uh, regrettable. But you know, as you can see, this more or less fits in here like that. So I just got to be careful with with her um, her hair. So she's got. Um, I don't want to call them sideburns, but you know, whatever, the, the hair on this, the side of her head. Yeah, I'm going to maybe file this down a little bit and uh, have it fit better. And I just cut this one off here on the other side, see how this fits straight out. Uh, not bad, actually. It's not, not too bad. Gotta work on this piece here. There. There. Oh, well, it's looking nicer. That's, that's that's pretty great actually. See, check this out. Just do a little test fit like this here. That's great. And then, um, so she's got bangs here. Oh, look at that. She's looking more and more like an anime character. Already. So this is going to fit like so. Now, it's not totally perfect, as you can see. I'm going to have to maybe uh, putty some of this. That's it. It's pretty cool looking, huh? Cool. So yeah, I just need to do a little bit extra on her dress. I'm not quite done. This is a lot of cutting here on the dress. Let's see, where did I leave off here? I think I already took it off. Okay, here we go. I was working on here. And, uh... Okay, just uh, slice it up the line. Mm. I'm veering a little bit off course. The instructions say that the inside is going to be white, and of course the outside is going to be red. 
So I'll have to, you know, paint the inside of the dress as, as well as the outside. And this is going to be gold trim along the edge here. Mm. It's going to take a lot of work to shave down the excess. I have marked the L and the R for the arms. So like her uh, left arm goes here and her right arm will be like up here. See there's her, her beautiful little armpit there. Okay, so this will just kind of fit in here and glue into place. So uh, what we'll have to do is do some um, sub-assemblies painting and then assemble the stuff. So like this will go in here. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? So it gives you an example on uh, what to do for the eyes here. Okay. It gives you an example. Uh, it's not quite the same. I kind of like the looks of these eyes better though. It has like, like, a, like a reflection up at the top part instead of in the middle here. So that's kind of what I did. And I'm not really artistically inclined at all, but I came up with that. And um, it actually doesn't look so bad. So whether or not I can pull it off with paint and making it look nice is, is another story. But uh, so far that's, that's, that's kind of cool, right? Um, the difficult part here is going to be lining up her fingers here. I had to cut this off. So this is the, the hand that holds the sword. So I want to try to have this pinned into place somehow. Although, see, look, I think I have to fill that in with putty or something. I think I cut too close in there. Kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, because I don't think it's supposed to go like that. I have to make sure that she can hold her sword okay. And again, oops, I bumped the camera. Again, her sword is resin. And so are her uh, her hair braids. Now they they do have her hair braids, like a vinyl version. But you have to cut these out, and you have to line them up, and you know do some puttying and blah blah blah. You know, screw that, dude. Just go with the resin, I say. So um, let's look at her sword here. Her awesome demon sword. And uh, see how her hands kind of fit around it. Yeah, I think it's going to have to... Um, hmm, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to do some uh, some epoxy putty or something rather to get that uh, in, into this type of uh, position here. So, I think I, that was my, my first mistake. But other than that, everything else is coming together just fine. So, uh, what I'm going to have to do in... Uh, well, first, I'm going to wrap this up. So, um, I'm going to end the video here, but in the second phase, I will be... Shoot, where those fingers go? There they are. Um, going to work on some sub-assemblies. And after the sub-assemblies are done, and then I'll do some painting. Or, sorry, priming, I should say. And uh, then we'll, we'll be good to go for painting after that. So this has a considerable amount of flash. I need to clean this resin thing up here. This, uh, it's got some injector marks here I need to take care of. But, um, yeah, pretty awesome stuff here. So, yeah, stay tuned for video two. Catch you later. Bye. Oh, 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 one, one more thing here. <laughs> Always be careful, okay? Check this out. Um, so, uh, I was using my X-Acto knife here, and, um, here's, okay, here's my, my work apron. I stabbed myself in the, in the chest a little bit, and, uh, you can see I got some blood on my, my Pac-Man shirt here. I'm kind of not happy about that, but I'll use the stain stick. I had to, uh, go in the bathroom and, uh, 
to shave the hair off my chest a little bit so I can uh, put down a bandage so I can stop bleeding all over my clothing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here now. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.